Good night, parents and tutor. Today I'm going to do a little explanation about that the topic that uh, I see in the course, Colombian education. This course uh, have two two mainly topics that are the development of uh, Colombian education in the 21th century and the bilinguals and uh, bilinguals. Uh, different to the ESL uh, this year. In the development of Colombian uh, education in the 21th century, we can to find that uh, in Colombia we have many problems for the development of the it is public the public to have of level of education according to the PISA test. Uh, many schools don't have the research for the development of the dance, the development of new chair. For example, the BISC chair, it is a noun in Colombia. Uh, the Bilinguims in Colombia have um, a little program that is the PMB, the Plan Nacional de Bilinguism. Uh, that really is so important for for the education ministry, but really it is so difficult to to find the development of this in the classroom. Uh, really, really in Colombia, this program don't have a uh, good results in the level of English in Colombia. The students because we come to find that many times the students of public schools don't have the possibility of have a good access to to these programs. Uh, and the second topic we do a week in the week we have to find uh, in the pink we come to find the the link about this uh, and in this I work with the bilingual education and the foreign language education. In the bilingual education we can to find that there is the bilingual education is the pathway to the bilingual where included an knowledge and also more two or more general uh, language. Okay? Uh, this is the bilingual education. In the bilingual education we can to find that uh, in a bilingual education class, the teacher gives instructions to the students uh, in native language. But in the ESL or foreign language education, we can to find that this refers to the process and practice to acquire a second or a foreign language and in ISL class, students are taught purely in English with their second language regate to visit discussions. And this is the difference between uh, two terms that are so similar, but really it is so different. Okay, this is all the all my exposition. Thank you.